All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation four to the power of x squared over two to the power of x is equal to eight. So to solve this, I wanna find the value of x. So now for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting this as 2 squared to the power of x squared over 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. So, I, so what I did was I rewrote all the terms in bases of 2. So 4 is the same thing as 2 squared which is why I wrote this as 2 squared to the power of x squared. And 2 to the power of x already has a base of 2, so I don't need to change that. And finally, 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So now from here, what I'm going to do is 2 squared to the power of x squared. I can use a property to simplify this. So the property is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 squared to the power of x squared, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 2 times x squared, which is the same thing as 2 to the power of x squared. Sorry, 2 to the power of 2x squared. So I get 2 to the power of 2x squared over 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. And now from here, If I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 2 to the power of 2x squared over 2 to the power of x, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 2x squared minus x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 3. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So 2 to the power of 2x squared minus x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Well, that's in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, and this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 2x squared minus x is equal to 3. Sorry, 2x squared minus x is equal to 3. And now if I subtract 3 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get 2x squared minus x minus 3 is equal to 0. So now to solve this from here, I'm going to use the quadratic formula which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is negative 3, all over 2a, so 2 times 2. And this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 24 over 4, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 25 over 4, which is equal to 1 plus or minus 5 over 4. So now this gives me two solutions. I get x equals 1 plus 5 over 4, and x is equal to 1 minus 5 over 4. So I get x is equal to 6 over 4, which is 3 over 2. And x is equal to 1 minus 5 over 4, which is negative 4 over 4, which is negative 1. So these are my two solutions. 